live leaderboard at Talladega. <clears throat> Gonna be a good day today. Rain should hold off long enough to get this fucker in. Let's do the thing. As the great Macho Man Randy Savage once said, let's do the thing. <coughs> What's up, Yuki? So, looking at the weather... I think the race will happen tomorrow. The rain is definitely happening, but the rain is clearing out earlier than expected a few days ago. So I think the race will be 25 degrees. I can work in 55 degrees. So, yeah, I'll be happy to work on Monday since the race is probably going to be tomorrow. Even if the race was Monday, I'm still going to go to work for a few hours. Got to make that money. In the words of Spinal Tap, give me some money. <coughs> <clears throat> 25 lap stage is so stupid. Anyway, welcome to the Xfinity series. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice and cool. It was mid-80s all this past week, and now it's dropping down to the low 60s. Not supposed to get above like 74 this week. Yeah, work should be a little easier this week. Maybe I can stomach five days of being over here at this fucking hell hole. Hell hole. I guess tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up and make my DraftKings and my FanDuel account and try to steal some money tomorrow. Speaking of stealing money, I think Michael texted me earlier. <clears throat> I'll take Parker Kligerman today. If he can get that bed in. <coughs> I'm eagerly awaiting Papa John's. <laughs> Had a special get two things for six ninety nine each. I got wings and a pizza. Been a little bit been a week or two since I had pizza. We got Blaney and Amigo in the booth. How about that finish last week at Texas in the Xfinity Series? That was crazy. Can't believe that was Texas. <coughs> also, Talladega Super Speedway, where's the scoring pile on? Find it amazing that one of the most rain-prone racetracks in NASCAR doesn't have lots. I gotta love Papa John's. Domino's sucked shit the last bunch of times I had it. And Little Caesars was garbage the last couple times I had it. Big Papa's never let me down. <clears throat> I spent the better part of my day walking my grandfather through The Walking Dead. He's fallen in love with The Walking Dead TV show and... We are past the halfway point of season two, and he's digging it. Might watch an episode or two with him after the race. <clears throat> he just watched the episode where Sophia died. For you Walking Dead fans. Oh, yeah, poking those. Remember a few years ago? They scheduled Pocono for 4 p.m. A rain heavy racetrack, and they put the race at 4. It was getting dark, if you remember, Craig. That was like the COVID year, right? They almost couldn't finish the race. It was getting dark. We shouldn't have any problems here today. It's uh, 3.09 in Alabama right now. They're an hour behind the East Coast. <clears throat> this is a relatively quick race. God willing. Timmy hires. Who's he hire? Will he hire me? Pay me $30 an hour? I'll be your bitch for $30 an hour. The 
I get to make 20 for the foreseeable future, so I'm good with that. Talladega Super Speedway. The Daytona, yeah, Daytona is very rain prone, but they have lots, so we can't hate on them. Talladega not having lots. I don't care about noise ordinance. It makes no fucking sense. Race cars don't become louder after 9 p.m., you know. They stay the same no matter what time of day it is. <coughs> Talladega, which I will hopefully see in the fall this October. Holding Cowboy to it. He said he'll give me a place to stay. I'll fly myself over there. See my first Talladega race. Gotta take the time to make that FanDuel and that DraftKings shit tomorrow. Doing it tomorrow so I can maybe save a bet or two for next week as well. Unless I just want to, like, pump all these free bets into the same race to essentially guarantee that I win money. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. Because it's free bets, it's not my money. The Talladega Xfinity Series races have been pretty good. I'm, we're, I'm looking once again for RCR to stink the show up. This is their forte in the Xfinity Series. I have Formula Ones tonight. Like I said, I expect Austin Hill and Jesse Love to probably stink this fucker up, but it can be stolen from them. God, that finish last week with Sam Mayer and Ryan Sieg. Unfucking believable. That was NASCAR racing. One of the greatest finishes ever. Jeb Burton is the only two-time Talladega winner in this field. You can believe that. Jeb Burton has two career wins, both here at Talladega. I'll take Parker Kligerman. He's due, goddammit. Got my Dale Jr. Sundrop shirt on today. Pay really close attention so you can understand what Suarez is saying, Austin Hill.
Taylor Gray back in the 19 this week. Ryan Truex in the 20. What's up, Michael? Michael, I might use all those free bets from FanDuel and DraftKings tomorrow to cover the entire field to guarantee I win money. <laughs> We'll make my accounts in the morning. Thirty if Kligerman wins. Took a shot in the dark on that one, but he's going to run with those RCR cars. He's going to have a chance. Allgaier and Creed. I'd have liked that uh, Riley Herbst action too, but the Fords are just so outnumbered. One of those dreary day races at Talladega. We've seen so many of those. Thinking like NASCAR Thunder 2002, Talladega is always like cloudy and sad looking. It looks like it does today. <laughs> at 45 doing. Xfinity Series continues to be the best racing in NASCAR. Did you catch that ARCA race today? I didn't. And when I saw how bad the ARCA race was, I'm glad I didn't watch. It's the love machine and the biggest crybaby in the sport, Austin Hill. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe Hill's not the biggest crybaby in the sport. He's coming for the title. The race tomorrow is at three if it starts on time, I think. If it starts on time, it's at three. I think it might start maybe an hour late. Weather looks promising after 1 p.m. tomorrow. Custer shoves that 21 out there, and he slots down in front of his teammate and Kligerman. Like I said, I'm along for the ride today. I got Kligerman attached to those RCR cars. And as, as soon as the fucking race starts, I got to run outside and carry shit in. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Here anymore, right? 
I come back and I see we're three wide through almost the entire field. Austin Hill's leading the top, Riley Herbst in the middle, Sammy Smith on the bottom. The 21, the 2, and the 48 are staying attached. I like that. Ryan Sieg, second car in the middle. Can't believe he almost won last week. Somebody... Would anybody have gotten any money off of Ryan Sieg last week? Custer makes a nice move. Takes some of the momentum out of that top. It'll come back to him. <coughs> Custer's in a pretty vulnerable spot in the middle. Yeah, the reoccurring trend is RCR up at the front. And how many more races is DiBenedetto going to be in the 38? Is that permanent? Because if so, good for him. I said all along he at least deserves a B plus, a B or a C Xfinity rod. He's done all right for what that car is capable of. And the choo-choo train's forming up, and Vangus Bergen and Weatherman are in the top ten. Similar but different, but if you can run Daytona, you can run Talladega. You'd probably be more comfortable at Talladega. Daytona's pretty claustrophobic. Michael, put a dollar on Matt DiBenedetto and we'll split it. <laughs> His teammate's fast. He should be fast, too. I loved it when we had Marcus Ambrose or Juan Pablo Montoya. So I'm obviously a big fan of Van Gisbergen coming here and hopefully doing well. I hope this doesn't turn into another Atlanta Xfinity race. Easy with the license music. <clears throat> I won't even bitch at him for going commercial less than eight laps into the race because the whole field got single files, so you might as well go now. Come back and catch this stage finish. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I like watching uh, contrasting weather. I like being at home and watching an NFL game that's in a fucking snowstorm while I'm in like sunny North Carolina. Hey, the draft is this week, and um, last year I got fond memories of the draft because Star Wars Jedi Survivor came out at midnight after the draft, and I stayed home from work the next day and played Star Wars. No game coming out this year on the same day as the draft, unfortunately. Yeah, Matt Benedetto in that 38 car makes a lot of sense. Good for him getting an opportunity. Kind of thought he ran out of lives, but he's hanging around. Got a lot of experience. I can't think of anybody that could do better in that 38. This is about the level he should be at. Might not be single file anymore. We are not single file anymore. For the moment. Michael, your bets gained 24 spots. Sheldon Creed is plus 24, biggest mover in the field. Jeb Burton, the only two-time Talladega winner in this field, is up 13 spots. Hill starting to play the lanes here. Two car really hugging the bottom. Big gap between him and the 48. 48 will obviously cut him a break. Ooh, we got some shuffling here. The Fords ducked around. Chandler Smith, ooh, woo, what is this? They get Custer the lead for the moment until this top line comes back behind Hill. Chandler Smith was leading all the forwards and they just ditched him. Getting hung out didn't hurt the 81. He slid up third in the top line, got between the 48 and the two. It's the first time the 48 and the two have been separated today. Riley Herbst is complaining about handling. Anthony Alfredo again quietly putting his name up near the top ten. 
Yeah, JRM won last week with Mayer. JRM had the race covered last week with Allgaier dominating and then slipping away, and Mayer wound up winning it. You saw that finish last week, didn't you? Too much oversteer in the 98, I'm guessing. Talladega, at least in the video games, I prefer a tight race car. Not blaming you, said stability. I, I put all the wedge in my car in almost every NASCAR game I play on Super Speedways. Except the old Thunder games. Those cars are pretty floaty. But I still run them tighter than I would anywhere else. Hey guys, it's pizza time. What you gonna do about it? Mm, yummy. Thank you, Papa John's. Could have cut this fucker a little better though, couldn't you? Oh, well, look up the replay of the final couple of laps last week at Texas. You work a lot, damn. I thought for sure by now you'd seen a highlight. I didn't work no 63 hours last week, but I was tired as fuck because I worked pretty hard and it was hot as shit outside. So last week I didn't do much either. Oh, take this headset off. God bless you, Papa John's. Well, when you've got two really dominant cars that are teammates like Hill and Jesse Love, this is going to happen, especially early. I think there will be some darting around here in the next five laps for this stage win, though. If we ever get to see it, Fox. How about the Xfinity race being on local Fox today? Remember the last eight races this year will be on CW for Xfinity. <clears throat> Man, is NBC going to miss Dale Jr. this year? I'm only excited for NBC to get it the fuck away from Fox. But at the same time, I'm not that excited because no Dale Jr. <clears throat> oh, good grief. Shut up. We spend all this time coming back for commercials showing a music video when we can be showing the fucking race. It's great program. I 
Damn. Oh, yes. Great camera. Well, the whole field single file. We're not missing shit, but... The old one-trick pony leading this race. If Jesse Love wins, is Austin Hill going to pitch a fit? Andy Petrie is going to put Jesse Love up for adoption. That old Je uh, Justin Haley factor not being here has kind of hurt colleagues' uh, restrictor plate program. AJ's running well, though. Yeah, how was the WWE show? Good crowd. WWE's pretty hot right now. They just did 16,000 last night at the O2 in London. Business, the wrestling business is booming. There's a move from Herbst, Mayer, and Sieg. Custer, Allgaier, and Kligerman come down in front of it. We are no longer single file. And well, yeah, bottom line. Bottom line, get it back here. Look at the push from the 39 coming. Jesse Love just pulled down to pass his teammate. Wow. Two to go. Teammate sells out the other. Well, I guess maybe they're just, oh, they're just going to guarantee you that Whoa, Jesse Love. Austin Hill let him in there. Cut him a break. Big block, but Austin Hill cut him a break. Here we go. We're racing now with one to go. Oh, Allgaier just got wrecked. Oh, he's fucked. Oh. Caution's out. Allgaier's done for the day. Jesse Love is your stage one winner. Well, Michael, you got to remember, when WWE does the non-televised show, they're kind of doing it with a skeleton crew. So the production's never high for those. It's not like the big Raw, SmackDown, and pay-per-view productions they put on. Yeah, that was hard hit. 
Uh, Algar has no luck. Yeah, Fox. I can see the big giant green numbers on that seven. That was a tough one. Should be okay. Hopefully. Last couple moves really good to Allgaier. Came in one of our drivers going for the dash for cash, but unfortunately done early in town. Lost in all of this. Jesse Love. Made a big move in the trioval, coming to one to go. And then cut off his teammate who let him in. Whether he was clear or not, it looked like he was going to come up in front of him. I'm sure Austin Hill will remember that. Oh, yeah, I'd hate to see that hit without a safer barrier. WWE in the UK right now. Watching a clip from that. Michael's surprised at how small the wrestlers are. Yeah, we're not in the 80s anymore, man. Steroids went out years ago. <clears throat> Nowadays, wrestlers are just remarkable because of their athleticism, not how big they are or how they look. Work rate's higher. Guys are just more athletic and do more. <clears throat> like, you know, Roman Reigns isn't that big of a dude. I know he wasn't at the show last week. Roman's taking time off, but Roman's been the top guy for five years now, and he's only like 6'1". He's not even that big. They just present him like he's a lot bigger than he is. <clears throat> Shame CM Punk's injured and couldn't work that show. I think pro wrestlers are some of the friendliest people on earth, especially WWE guys nowadays. <clears throat> WWE guys these days are very friendly because they're very happy. All the money they're making and how much better it is to work there now. Roads open. I told you, they said Austin Hill is a little concerned with the block Jesse Love threw. Two tires for the 21. Kligerman slid through his box, so there goes his track position. Might as well change four now. Change four. Nice, a 20-second two-tire pit stop. Josh 
Balicki must have missed his pit stall. Why not just change four at that point? Aha, uh -huh, some guys did stay out. I was sitting here thinking to myself a minute ago. I'm like, stay out and try to make both stages without pitting. Use these caution laps to save some fuel. Matt DiBenedetto is your leader, unless they pit during a commercial. I want to eat these wings, but I don't want to get my hands covered in sauce. I have to use the unmute button here in a minute. So when they come back for commercial, I will start eating. Michael, I think I'm going to WWE in a few weeks. They're coming to Greensboro for TV for TV taping. They're doing Monday Night Raw at Greensboro. At the Greensboro. I got to go see wrestling at the Greensboro Coliseum. I wish I could have went to AEW Revolution at the Coliseum, but I didn't know anybody that could go. But you hate AEW. I don't hate AEW. I hate Tony Khan and the idea of what AEW is. I still love wrestling. AEW Dynasty is going to be a badass pay-per-view. God damn it, I missed the NFL. Oh, they're putting the fear of fucking RCR into Jesse Love. His own team saying, 21, cut your break there now. And he did. I'm being a smart ass, but at the same time, what the fuck? Like Austin Hill wouldn't have made that same move? 
Yes, you can cut you a break. That's what teammates do. I get it. Ugh. So, De Benedetto did pit. They just didn't want to pit on a crowded pit road. So, Jesse Love is your leader. A lot of two-tire stops. Kligerman lost all his track position with a 20-second two-tire stop. Should have just put fucking four on it. In the words of Kyle Busch, put four on it, put four on it, you motherfuckers. Too, many, too much sauce on these wings. It choked me to death. Bro, Justin Allgaier's rookie year was like 2008. So, yeah, he's got gray hair. <laughs> I was 14 years old when he was a rookie. Hmm. It's April 20th. What kind of agriculture was they were they promoting this week? Saw a lot of green on the side of that car. Oh, these wings were too saucy. I want sauce on my wings, but I don't want them swimming in a fucking pool of sauce. Ring and green, 20 to go, stage two. Ha ha ha. Get it, it's funny because he's Mexican. Speak American. Okay, one wing is enough for now. Jesus Christ. Messy. I don't want to get messy up in this bitch. One wing down. <laughs> one down, five to go. Just another wing going in my tummy. Ugh. I got to shave this shit. My mustache is giving me a hard time. Enjoy this three wide action for the next three laps till they're all single foul and the 21's leading again. With hell he's leading right now. There's not a single foul yet. <clears throat> I can't wait till I get some gray in my head. I look distinguished. <laughs> what is that bottom line doing? Making it real easy for the 21 and the 2 to just dominate this fucking race? Kligerman back in 17th and that high line. He should surge forward and pass, excuse me, at least seven or eight cars that are to the left of him because they'll all fade back and he'll be in that single file line running top 10. Within striking distance. But right now, the two bottom lines are holding steady this lap. That fucking yellow car tucked in there looks like Michael Waltrip's car from like 96 or something. From a distance, it looks like the old Pinzoil number 30. It's quite a bit. They were three wide behind Hill. Now they're three wide from fourth on back. Kligerman makes a move back there, chooses the middle line. I, I think he should have just stayed put in that very outside. No, he wasn't going anywhere, but it would have been a net gain for him because those two bottom lines cannot keep this up, can they? Truex taking the lead here, possibly. I think his run's going to stall out. He noses ahead, but he's got Custer on his inside. Hill's still on his outside. We know Hill's got the best car. C 
Custer takes the lead on the bottom now. He could clear if he wants to. Clear up, Custer, if you really want it. And he'll take it. Cole Custer. Here comes a push to the 21. <clears throat> Custer maintaining three lanes at once. Truex ahead of Austin Hill now, bringing Sheldon Creed with him. <clears throat> Make sure my shit was working. Remember when Jeffrey Earnhardt almost won this race in the three car? That was the day I started at the old DG, or no, it was like two weeks after I started. Uh, what a, what an era that was, my Dollar General era. Glad it's over. <laughs> Ryan Sieg looking for the lead on the bottom there as Custer plays the lanes. Yay, we're not shoot you trained out yet. Make it hard for Fox to go to commercial without me getting mad. Hey, we got a side by side. Whole field's three wide. We can keep an eye on the action this way. Ryan Sieg is your leader. Trading it with Cole Custer and Austin Hill. Mostly just Custer. Kligerman's making a little bit of ground on the bottom. It was, you know, at the time he made the move, I was just like, ah, stay put. But he made a nice move. And bottom line is pulling forward. Got a lot of cars in it. Each lane has almost equal amount of cars. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, if Ryan Sieg wins this race, he'll be sick. He'll be happy to win, but good God, who'd have thought we could be sitting here with two Ryan Sieg wins in a row? There's an alternate timeline where that happens, potentially. He's leading pretty comfortably right now, though I think he pulled out a little too far ahead. There's going to be a couple of runs at him here, at least from Custer's lane. Thinks better of blocking that. <laughs> Fox is only doing good camera work when they go south. Look, look, guys. We can see the whole field. Way to go, Fox. Give them an Emmy. Oh, my God. Zooming out. Now Herbst and Sieg both pulled up in front of Austin Hill. Dover next weekend. Always a fan favorite. I'm the good thing is, we got three Fords in front of Austin Hill. <laughs> but God, look at the push that outside's getting now. And Hill pulls to the bottom. Jesse Love follows. 
and they clear Truex. So now that's going to hang. There's Fords out there. C gets down to the bottom. Custer didn't make it, Tom. Or Hurst and Custer didn't. Austin Hill showing his muscle. Ten to go. They can put their cars anywhere. Their cars are out of control fast, but also handle perfect. <coughs> Coughing up a lot of sickness today. That's good. I got out of this cold or whatever I had without ever getting a stuffy nose and without ever feeling like shit at all. I just coughed and lost my voice. I had a sore throat for like a day. <clears throat> but I'm good now. <clears throat> Been losing my voice a lot lately. What a move by Alfredo. Kligerman looks like he's following Alfredo. Bottom line's getting real jumbled there. The two and the 21 are separated again. We got one in each line. Chandler Smith's leading now. Limited schedule. I ought to just keep him in that 38. I guess, like we talked about earlier, who's going to do better? As soon as I got to grab a wing, they go to commercial. A full screen commercial with seven laps to go in a stage? Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out what happened when they come back. Why did I think that guy in this vibe or whatever this commercial is looked like Brett Favre for a second? This guy also looks like he sends unsolicited dick pics and steals money from poor people, just like Brett Favre. What a hero. I say this a lot when we talk about Favre, but when I was a kid, that was my favorite football player. Boy, what a fool I was. Never meet your heroes, or never learn more about your heroes. My leaderboard says Truex is leading. Ryan, not Junior Truex. No, I saw my subscriptions, it popped up about Iceberg's video on Fox, but I haven't watched it yet. Thank you for reminding me, because I was meaning to watch it, I just forgot about it. Like I said, much like Michael, I ain't thought about doing shit this week. Melting that hot fucking sun, thank God it's cooling down this week.
Papa John's, you kind of ripped me off. Six wings, but you gave me like three really tiny wings. Mm. You're lucky they're still delicious. And we're back. Chandler Smith, Austin Hill, Jesse Love, Ryan Sieg, and Riley Hurts. Austin Hill with another great move. And little Jesse Love follows through. Ooh, Brandon Jones and Truex almost piled up the field, and they didn't even comment on it. Did you guys see that? Oh, yeah, Brandon Jones in the night. Yeah, he almost ended up head on the wall there. Would have been his own damn fault. Looks like he was cutting across Truex. Big push from Love to Hill here, hitting three to go this time. Big choo-choo train here coming to two to go. Somebody might make a move. Gonna have to be a big move because the 21 and the two were stuck together. I don't think Jesse Love's going to sell Hill out again after that bad block. I think he might just chill, return the favor to the 21 here. We'll see. Two to go. Almendinger makes a move. Pulls down in front of Brandon Jones, Clickerman, and Ryan Truex, and Alfredo and Creed. See if they can get to him with that momentum. Got a whole lap and a half. The nine's answer. He's been trying to make some moves. <clears throat> and then Alfredo goes to the bottom like a dumbass. Nobody was going to go with you, bro. I don't know what the fuck Alfredo was thinking was going to happen there. Oh, yeah, let's push this slow car that never runs up front. Said no one ever. Almendinger's made it up to second. He'll actually pull down to get in front of this bottom line. Like I said, I don't think Love's going to push the issue too much on his teammate. He's going to repay the favor. Ooh. 81 got on Jesse Love's left rear there. I thought it was going to be game over. One to go. Hill doesn't know what line to block. He lets Love have the top. Well, not really. He pulls up in front of him. Love lets him in. That's going to give AJ a little bit of a run here if the nine could get to him. They're pretty even right now. Who's going to get the push first? Looks like a top line's going to push first. Yeah. Big push from the 81 to the 2, to the 21. The 9's half a car length off the 16. Now there's a big push from Truex to Kligerman to Jones. Oh, almost a wreck. Austin Hill's got it. Oh, Kligerman, three wide in the middle. Hold your fucking line. Well, they made that easy for Hill. AJ makes one last move with no run. Love's going to get to AJ's outside and steal second place back, it looks like. And he will, and Austin Hill wins stage two. RCR sweeps the stages, one for each driver. <clears throat> Ugh, I'll be right back.
to go. Jesse Love, what happened to Austin Hill? Austin Hill had a bad stop. Oh, who are we kidding? Still like 55 fucking laps to go or whatever the fuck. It'll be all right. of the conversation. What famous female athlete or celebrity would you do? God bless that white girl. She can play basketball. No oddly timed yellows to mix this field up, but that's okay.
This guy asked, why the fuck is that wall still there, I'm guessing, in reference to that hit Allgaier had. <coughs> Yeah, if you want to hang out with MAGA retards and inbred people, go to the boulevard of Talladega. It'll be fun. Fat guy in a United States hat wearing an Earnhardt shirt. Methed out George Kittle there. Methed out Justin Long. Any particular reason my screen cut off? Nobody in Mexico has a mullet. You heard Suarez. <coughs> oh, wow. What a devastating penalty for Josh Williams. It was already running like shit anyway. Oh. Now, what happened to Austin Hill? He dropped to 12th. Still going to win the race. He could drop to 30th right now and he still win. If he doesn't win, he's going to pitch a fit. You know that, Ron. <clears throat> I guarantee if 21 doesn't win, he pitches a fit. Look at those giant fries. I remember old Wendy's fries, okay? I'm old enough to remember the floppy, mushy, badass Wendy's fries before they went to natural cut bullshit. I miss old Wendy's fries. When did they switch? Like 2007 or something? <laughs> Eighty-one's having radio problems, as you can hear. Good Christian boy having a meltdown. <coughs> Always laugh when a Christian starts cussing like a fucking sailor and being a dick. <laughs> it's like, oh, what would Jesus do? Side rolling much better to start with. <clears throat> so we've made it to stage two. The race is official. Keep that in mind if rain pops up a little earlier tonight than expected. It's possible. So race is official. No double headers tomorrow or Monday. Which, like I said, I think the race tomorrow is going to be fine. Looking at the forecast. <coughs> yeah, Austin Hill's making it look easy. Sheldon Creed is third, Michael. Kligerman back into this deal in front of the 21. 48 in front of the 21. We're in good shape.
Brandon Jones, Kligerman, and Austin Hill. Jesse Love wants to get in that line, but sorry, buddy, no space. Blocking here on the back stretch now. <laughs> Surprised to see them racing this hard right now, but you've got guys like Hill who lost their track position and want to hurry and get it back, get back to the front, string the field out. Oh, Jeb Burton almost got wrecked there. Him and Sammy Smith almost got hung up. Right in front of Vangus Bergen. <clears throat> Vangus Bergen is running a cup race tomorrow. If I remember seeing the entry list correctly. RCR has won every stage and both races on Super Speedways this season. In position to keep that streak going. The Choo Choo Train is forming on lap 60. We're past the halfway mark. Everybody's got to pit one more time. <coughs> yeah, I'm all right. Still coughing from being sick, man. But now when I'm coughing, shit's actually coming up. So that's a sign I'm getting better. <clears throat> I'm not dying or anything. <laughs> the next day, Dale was found dead in his room. <laughs> Age 30. <laughs> he coughed himself to death. Ryan Sieg will not go away. Every time I look up, he's leading the line or in position to take the lead. Sammy Smith taking the lead with help from Shane Van Gisbergen. How about that? Van Gisbergen adapts so quickly. He gets it. He's a bit of a wild card, like Suarez just kind of pointed out, like the inexperience. He's probably more apt to wreck the field. Speaking of wrecking the field, Ooh, Taylor Gray. Wonder why Jeb didn't go with the 32. That's his teammate, but he makes a late decision to push him. Jordan Anderson Racing headed to the front. Led by Jordan Anderson. Austin Hill makes a move to the middle. He's got Jesse Love. Chandler Smith follows. 
Sieg pulls to the bottom. We got a lot of shuffling here. So whenever the 21 makes a move, there's a lot of shuffling. Eight car blocks. 21's run runs out before he can get off a of four. Thought he was going to shoot to the outside of Sammy Smith off a of four. I think Vangusbergen might lead this lap. Yeah, Shane Vangusbergen leads this lap. How about that? This is a good field, and the whole field's three wide again. <coughs> Big push there. You can't go to break now. God. They went to break there. When we come back, there'll be a single file. Better cut to break in the middle of all the great three wide racing. I understand they have to go to commercial, but you couldn't wait five more laps. Oh, we got a wreck. Jeremy Clements and Brandon Jones appear to be heavily damaged. Uh oh. Well, show us. Is it just Clements and Jones, or is there more? Wow, big crash there. Two cars. Oh, Ryan Truex is damaged as well. Sam Mayer, his car's crooked. So it's Sam Mayer, Brandon Jones, Jeremy Clements. They said AJ got a piece of that. What happened? So, where does this begin? Nine cars got a hell of a run for the lead here. Oh, man! Three different wrecks could have happened there at once, but only one of them happened. There goes Truex. There goes the 51. There goes Mayer. 91's in it. Yeah, that could have been even worse. There was like two blocks simultaneously. <clears throat> I thought the wreck was going to come from Hill blocking the eight, but no, Kligerman makes a move, comes down, hits the 39, crosses in to Brandon Jones. So Kligerman's got some damage there. Hopefully not enough to take my money away. It 
was a medium one. And the Benedetto got spun there at the end. Ooh, Josh Williams. Oh. Can I get a look at the damage on the 48, please? You could kind of make it from here. I definitely pit now. Sam Mayer got his win last, last week, and then his bad luck resumes. <clears throat> but oh, thank God Austin Hill made it through that. Fucking hell. Uh, excuse me. Fault was it? it looked like Kligerman's fault, but he got away mostly unscathed. His car, he didn't even pit. He's pitting with the leaders right now. Yeah, Kligerman's car was good. It's the money stock. Austin 
Hill still your leader. Shocking. Saw before the race, Michael. Never showing drivers talking about what to expect at Talladega. And Haley Deegan goes, well, you know, there's going to be a big one. And I was like, yeah, and you'll probably cause it. So far, so good. Oh, I remember when Pinsky had Xfinity cars. I'm hoping I can go to the Charlotte Xfinity race. I might hit my dad up and say, hey, we go for like 20 bucks. Because Dylan can't go because Dylan's got to work Saturday, but we are going to the 600. But I want to go to the Xfinity race. Couple years, Brandon. stayed out. Maybe we'll just wait for pit again. I don't know. Let's 
I think AJ's car is way too beat up to be fast. Not a football league. You can just blow his load. this green with 41 to go everybody's right on the window they should make it you know there'll be another caution or two that'll help overtimes is where it could get complicated today but i think we're all good here <coughs> austin hill ryan c cole custer chandler smith good but those fords the 39 the double zero and the 98 the only three fords up front they have stayed committed together all day and 81 just pulled down and helped them get ahead of Austin Hill. <coughs> you get enough cars in front of Hill, you might have a chance. If you consistently stay together, and they don't. Herbs goes to the bottom. The 39 and Custer go up top. But they wrestle the lead away from Hill again for the moment. <coughs> Hill's got his old nemesis from Coda, Van Gisbergen, pushing him. <coughs> I think Sieg is bound and determined to win this race after last week. What a move by Hill. Oh, he backed out of it. It was a nice move, but they got a little close together. Four wide. Cars going by Hill on both sides now. Herps takes the lead, 40 to go. Hill is still four wide further back. Handful of cars in front of him. Jesse Love up here going for the lead with Jordan Anderson. <coughs> Hill makes another bold move to get all the way to the bottom, pick up a bottom line. He knows cars will follow. Whenever he moves, I see a bunch of cars flinch to go with him. We're looking for a debris, Ella. Possibly. And there's the Ella for debris. I didn't even see it. I'll take their word for it if they're actually talking about it. There, there it is. Big piece of sheet metal on the back stretch. Save gas. Should be really good now. <coughs> yeah, you think Ryan Seed's got a chance that money? Hell, that was off of AJ's car, that big piece of metal. George Lopez.
What do you think of those Detroit Lions uniforms? I saw a third, and I, I know the Texans are getting new uniforms, but they have like a blue alternate with the H on the helmet. I saw the leaked version of that, but I love those new Lions uniforms. Detroit's line, the Detroit Lions new uniforms are retro slash new. Block number supremacy. I'm an old school guy. I like Cowboys, Packers, Raiders. Those are fucking NFL uniforms. So Lions having the big block numbers back makes me happy. And they got rid of those shitty gray slash silver alternates and they have a black alternate and they all look a lot like the Panthers, but yeah, I admit, the black ones are cool. That was a throwback to when Dan Campbell played for the Lions. They had a black alternate uniform for a year or two. This one's much better. <coughs> so looking forward to seeing those on the field. When's the NFL schedule release? Used to be the week before the draft. Now it's like after the draft. I get more excited for schedule release than I do for the draft, believe it or not. Yeah, mayor out of the race. AJ's fucked. Yeah, Sieg's looking pretty good. That's the bad news. Well, just remember, it's not possible for anyone's schedule to be bullshit because it's calculated by a formula. However, the order of said schedule can definitely have an impact. 2020 Buccaneers was like the biggest example of that. The Buccaneers, the year they won the Super Bowl with Brady, were free-falling. And then what are their last few games? The Panthers twice, the Falcons, and the fucking three-win Lions to close out the year and squeak into the playoffs. <coughs> Yeah, I got some cars further back. Top it off. I like it. Yeah, the good thing is when your team sucks the year before, there's a higher chance of getting a quote-unquote easier schedule the following year.
Showing all the Blaney close Talladega finishes. So uh, I'm going to finish GTA 5 this coming week sometime. The first person run. I was itching to play Vice City today for some reason. Maybe I'll do like a late night Vice City stream. I've streamed it a lot in the last couple of years, but I don't know, I just got in the mood to play Vice City. from Love to Herbst and Custer to Sieg. They've wrestled this race away from Hill, but can they hold it away from him for 35 laps? I don't think so. <coughs> He's too strong, and his teammate's still in the mix, too. Jesse Love in the middle. A couple of cars pulled down to save his ass. It would have been nice to shuffle him out. Nothing against him. And Hill with the big move. No real momentum, but he's going to pick up a spot. <coughs> 39 almost locking bumpers with the 98, but not really. What a fucking run that 21 car had there. Oh, yeah, he's going to take this lead back by himself. Basically by himself. <coughs> Hill's got Alfredo and Jesse Love and Benedetto behind him in the middle line. He can go to Vangus Bergen, Jordan Anderson, and Jeb Burton on the bottom if he wants. Big push on the top. Oh, yeah, them three Fords yet again. With Kligerman behind them. Well clear of the 21. Kligerman, get down. <laughs> I want to be in front of the 21. <clears throat> There's just no energy in this broadcast. This race has been pretty solid, but the broadcast booth has been fucking dead, which is a usual problem for Fox. Suarez almost said Vangus Bergen's name. <clears throat> Josh Williams is suddenly relevant. He's in the top five. But Austin Hills leading that bottom with Alfredo and Jesse Love. <clears throat> I 
I said they got to hold them off for 35 laps. It's been three laps, <laughs> and it's felt like an eternity. Everybody knows NASCAR Thunder 03 to 2005 Chase for the Cup. You bump, draft, and push on the straightaway. You share draft in the corner. <coughs> That's how we do it. <coughs> It's amazing how the top line usually strings them all. Oh, wow, Sammy Smith just fucked this bottom line, hopefully. Look how fast Hill is, though. He's going to clear for the lead with basically no help. He doesn't go clear. He stays on the bottom. <coughs> Eight car fucked that top line for half a straightaway. That's helping Herbst and C get a run back at this. Now they gather it back up. Sammy Smith was just on pit road, too, so he's in a pretty good fuel situation. Everybody should make it, but still, this place is prone to overtimes. <clears throat> No matter what they do to that bottom line, Austin Hill is not losing any ground. I hope those three Fords really stay committed. This can work. Kligerman, don't fight. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Take the lead, Kligerman. <laughs> if the 21 and the 2 will actually push you like they should. <clears throat> I like it. I got my race bet in front of the 21. I'm going to be fast. <laughs> Unless I get hung out or Kligerman makes a bad move. Hey guys, I'm leading. <laughs> I'm not. It's the most consistent. Like every now and then the 48 or the 21 or whoever will edge ahead, but that top line always pushes and stays the most consistent. <coughs> so if you're rooting against Austin Hill, you should be happy right now. How could we not root against Hill? But I'm really rooting for Kligerman to win, get me the money. <laughs> I 
Ligerman Hill cleared Herbst. That's bad. Good for me, but I feel like I'm a sitting duck. Like, yeah, I'm leading, but I got Austin Hill behind me. Jesse Love's not too far back, so when Hill makes a move, somebody will go with him. <clears throat> so I'm a sitting duck. Hold on a second. Kligerman won't have to fuck it up. Like I said, he's a sitting duck. Big move here from Herbst. Now the lanes have changed. Herbst, Sieg, and Custer shoot to the inside. That just gives the 48 and 21 the top, which is honestly what I'd prefer. <clears throat> God, the way this field just came back together there. Well, now you've given the 48 and 21 the top. They're going to have more cars. This is the best the Fords have worked together in the Xfinity Series. It quads sometime. Oh, Custer tried to clear the 48. Couldn't get there. And then he got put in the middle. Herbst is out front. They're all three wide behind him. Custer and Sieg are losing ground in the middle. So now Riley Herbst is the sitting duck here. Ed Kligerman makes the easy pass on the inside. He'll fall us through. Well, the Fords got separated right as I complimented them for being so good at this today. <coughs> Nobody's going with the 98. He got fucked the worst out of this. That's crazy. Ryan Sieg, he's got a flat. He's sparking and he's really slow. Wow, that, that changed the entire complexion of this race. <clears throat> or kind of not really because it's still going to be Austin Hill. Yeah, see, he got a flat right front. Some contact from somebody somewhere. Well, looks like Seek's not going to get that redemption today. Anthony Alfredo going for the lead here. He's got the 81 and the 19 with him. Herbs is back in this. Jesse Love makes a move. Hill couldn't get to get in front of him to carry the run. I'm keeping an eye on how close the 21 and the 2 are to each other. That's going to de really determine the outcome of the race, in my opinion, if the 21 and the 2 were near each other. And God, Alfredo is leading this thing. Man, why can't Arca be this fun? <laughs> AJ's going to have a chance at the money now, I feel like. I don't know how many laps down AJ is. <clears throat> well, I am AJ's on the lead lap, and yeah. So AJ's going to have a chance at this 100,000 now. 21 laps to go. Anthony Alfredo, Parker Kligerman, Austin Hill, Sheldon Creed, Van Gisbergen. Can we get side by side? Cool. So Sieg has his problem, and now the field looks like it might go single file. Go figure. <laughs> Yep, that's what's happening. Oh, yeah, that's definitely happening now because Jesse Love just fucked that whole bottom line up. They're going to lose more ground. <coughs> choo choo with 20 laps to go. Alfredo and Kligerman are sitting pretty, but you know Hill's going to have a good move in him, and 
Sheldon Creed right behind him is very aggressive. He still hasn't won a race. Dumbest dash for cash ever. <laughs> Two of the guys get taken out. The other guy's got heavy damage. And then one dude hasn't won, but of course he gets, he gets a flat tire under green. And it gives it over to one of the wrecked race cars that's still running. Hilarious. Everybody. Ramba. Inside line, Custer and Jesse Love. Oh, the inside line's coming back, y'all. Custer, Jesse Love, and Herps leading it. So the choo-choo train didn't last long. <clears throat> this just gets Jesse Love and Austin Hill back together, close enough to where they can do something. Caution would get Sieg back on the lead lap. <laughs> Sieg hit the wall, <laughs> and that's how he cut his tire. Wow. Didn't even notice that when it happened. Fast pasta out front. into the inside of Alfredo. Well, Alfredo, it was fun while it lasted. Hill and Creed are going to follow Kligerman. Well, no, Creed goes up to the top to pick up Van Gisbergen. So Alfredo's not going to get shuffled, but Kligerman retakes the lead. Whoa, Alfredo. Alfredo didn't want to give it up, but Creed got to his inside and gave him no choice. It was either that or crash. When that happens, it gives the guys behind all this to a chance to get back up here. That little shuffle there did a lot. Custer's leading. This has been a really good race. Ooh, Alfredo again. Right on the left rear Creed. <clears throat> Hill's losing ground on the top here for the moment. Behind Kligerman, behind Jesse Love and Riley Herbst. And Custer pulls up in front of his teammate Herbst. So two of the remaining Fords reclaim control of the race. And they've shuffled Hill back. We're running out of laps. 15 to go. Jesse Love picking up the 48 and the 21. They're back together. But Herbst and Custer are up in front of them. Back 
Custer sees a run coming from Taylor Gray on the bottom. Ooh, Custer's in no man's land. Custer got put in the middle. He kind of put himself there. There goes Custer for the moment. <coughs> and Custer slips down fourth in line. He's going to stop the bleeding there. Regroup and make another run at this. And Jesse Love, Kligerman, and Hill easily pass the 98. I feel like Jesse Love should have won a race by now. He should, obviously, Jesse Love should have won Atlanta. So he's definitely owed one. Karmically, Jesse Love is owed a win. Back to the choo-choo train on the top for the moment. 13 to go. That top line, the bottom line will come back. <sighs> Michael, we're both in the top five here. I'm second, you're fifth. We're in the hunt. <coughs> I see dollar signs. Okay, Fox, I get it on board. Choo-choo. We got a choo-choo train 10 or 12 cars deep now. Damn, actually, we got a choo-choo train about 25 cars deep. The whole field got single file out of nowhere. Kligerman has no chance. If Kligerman makes a move on Jesse Love, Hill's not going to go with him. Hill's not going to sell out his teammate to help someone else win. He'll sell out his teammate to help himself win, which is fair. He's not going to fuck his teammate to help another car win. I don't think. Ten to go. Fox really zooming that camera in there. They've not been as bad today. Nine laps to go. Single digits. Forty eight will try something, but he's literally Dale Jr. versus Brian Vickers and Jimmy Johnson in two thousand six. It ain't gonna work out.
a shocking amount of cars still running at this point in the race. We've only got six DNFs today. The highest running junior motorsports car is 14th. <laughs> oh yeah, they all got wrecked. No, Cowboy's not at this race. Cowboy is, oh wait, he's going tomorrow. Cowboy's going tomorrow. I don't think he went today. He's going tomorrow. If he can play GTA tonight, I'm going to hit him up because I'd like to get the boys together. <laughs> Seven to go. Still single foul. I think the top five is pretty content where they're running, and that's going to help this stay single foul. Six to go. A little bit of checking up there from the 48, oddly enough. It's not making a move with six to go. He's content to stay second right now and hope that when he makes a move, the 98 has a run and goes with him. I'm guessing that's the plan. That's the hope. What a move by Chandler Smith there. Holy hell. That's for about ninth, tenth place. No organization on the bottom. 81 might have gained a spot there and slotted back up in the top line. Five laps to go. Four to go. Ryan Sieg is 32nd, a lap down with a pristine race car, and his only competition is smashed, but on the lead lap and going to steal his money. What is this gap here? Kligerman's like sizing up the two. He's obviously not making the run here. He's sizing him up. He might have laid back a little too much there. I thought they were going to stack up and be on top of each other, and then somebody behind him or Hill would have pulled out to make a move, but that didn't happen. Three to go. <coughs> Bottom line might make a comeback here. Josh Williams, Vangus Bergen, Cusker, Creed. Here they come, and the top line got squirreled up, and Hill goes to the bottom. And Love cuts him off. Well clear, though. That leaves Kligerman leading the top. That could work out for me. Oh, boy. Ooh, big shove to Creed here from Williams. Are they going to go anywhere with this? Or are they going to stay behind the 21? Oh! 
He waited too long. He should have pulled out quicker. And now he's going to get hung out because the 11 stayed on the bottom of the fucking 21. He's just got a side draft the hell out of the 21. Jesse Love's going to be a sitting duck here with two to go. Big run from the 48. Big run from the 48. Nobody goes with him, but he gets around the 18 for the moment. Oh, he'll make some move on his teammate. Don't go with the 21, Josh. What are you doing? Two to go. Austin Hill takes the lead. Josh Williams chose to follow him instead of Jesse Love. Kligerman, they're all three wide behind Hill here. It's just a matter of who gets a run at him first. Equal runs coming from the very top and the very bottom, it looks like. Oh, no, bottom line stalled out, so he's just got to block the 48. Take the push from the 48. Oh, Lord. Oh, ho, ho! Hill just got turned, Rick. Caution's out. Two to go. We're going to overtime. Oh, Jordan Anderson just got nailed from behind. And, damn it, if that wreck could have happened about 300 yards later, I'd be winning money right now. But instead, I'm the leader going to overtime. And, yeah, Austin Hill, he's not done, but his chances of winning are done. Jeb Burton with a lot of damage. Jordan Anderson racing got fucked there. Kligerman never, yeah, Kligerman did nothing wrong there. But I told you Austin Hill's going to be a whiny bitch after this, so I'm sure he will be. Austin Hill knows he's only got like six chances a year to win a race, and this is one of them. Little bump from the 48. 21 got loose off the bump into the corner, and what the fuck's 48 going to do? Lift? No, we're coming to the one to go. When Austin Hill got sideways, I got so happy. <laughs> I was like, yay! And Kligerman skirts by again. Jesse Love made it through that. At least it wasn't like a devastating wreck that requires a red flag, so. No, I didn't hear Dylan's totally turned on Austin Hill. He's like me. <laughs> I turned on Austin Hill first, and then Dylan got on board. Let me go get a sip of this.
number one Parker Kligerman fan in the world here for these remaining laps. Objective is to win. Ryan C get the free pass. No, Josh Balicki got the free pass. <laughs> Kligerman did nothing wrong. He's all good in my book. Uh -oh, a couple guys already run out already. Cars running the apron here, trying to keep fuel in the fuel cell. But Sammy Smith, Leland Honeyman, Joey Gase, Brennan Poole, Illis, Massey, and Baccarella, they're good to go. I think Creed's good to go as well, Michael. Michael, I think you're in good shape. Creed's got two laps better than the cars in front of it. Last car, I encourage you to throw the green as soon as possible. No, Deacon's good on fuel. She's the slowest car here. Great mileage.
vigilant. Is that the right word? Yeah, vigilant. Uh, what's it going to be behind me because, you know, you have a chance to win this race? See, the high drivers involved in the crash coming back to the white flag as we anticipate over time. We give you a little race recap in stage one final lap. Justin Allgaier running top five, shot out of line, hard in the wall. He would be released from the care center and was okay. Jesse Love wins the opening stage under caution. Stage two goes to his teammate Austin Hill, who started on the pole today. That was nine straight stage victories. Tracks for Richard Childress Racing. We had this 12 car crash early in the final stage that took out some really good cars. Sam Mayer, Brandon Jones, AJ Allmendinger got a piece of that. On board here with Cole Custer, who was able to avoid the carnage. And he's now scored inside the top five. And as we were coming to the white flag, Austin Hill out front. He was pushed in the draft. There will be three overtimes, and Austin Hill will still win. Just watch. Aerial coverage today provided by Goodyear, powering every lap, every mile, and every victory on the road ahead. Goodyear, more driven. You know, and, and as we look at where everyone chose, so Mark Clareman chose the bottom, Jesse Love behind him. We have they have that affiliation there, and you have teammates on the top, Josh Williams and SVG. So. Someone pretty much a teammate battle here in the first two rounds. Okay, how can you get hooked up the quickest? Uh, and, and who can kind of establish establish themselves uh, earlier than the other guy? And then behind that, it's just a complete mixed bag. You have no idea what's going to happen. So, and you have to be on your toes too because a car might run out of gas right in front of you, right as you launch. So you have to be aware of who's close on gas. Is this guy might this guy might stall? You have Sidney Smith who is the furthest running of, of the guys who <coughs> you know. 40 laps ago, looking for the best so yeah, Creed is two laps better than the four cars in front of him, but he's got a parade of cars behind him that are five laps better than him. Mother of God, we're going overtime. Like I said, there will still be enough overtimes for Austin Hill to win this. You watch, just fucking watch. And Custer just run out at the line. Ooh boy, Vankus Bergen's out of gas, and Creed is wrecking. And Kligerman's done. Great. Kligerman made it through and then got hooked at the last second. Oh, <coughs> well. Creed didn't hit anything, but there goes his track position. And Kligerman hit the wall hard head on, so my day's over. <laughs> Fucking cock ass. He can't drive that back. Look at it. Oh, he ain't driving that back now. Jesse loves leader. The two-hour Xfinity race is going to turn into a three-and-a-half-hour marathon. So they push, they push. Custer's out of gas immediately. Vangus Bergen's out immediately. Love pushing Kligerman on the bottom. Love gets squirreled up. Eight runs into the 18, hits the 11, and right as the 48's almost clear, the 11 overcorrects, comes back down and hooks him in the fucking wall. <coughs> Jesse Love ain't going to make it on fuel. Jesse Love will not make it on gas, almost guarantee it. That wreck couldn't have gone any worse for me and Michael. Ryan Sieg back on the lead lap. The $100,000 is still up for grabs. So that's the first of the three overtimes that's going to help Austin Hill still win this race. At this point, when Austin Hill wins, I will laugh. Of course, Kligerman got destroyed. Oh, 
Austin Hill's still going to win. You just wait. Jesse Love said I'm having flashbacks. I'm assuming he's referencing Atlanta. <laughs> No way Jesse Love makes it. Right? Well. Yeah, he's fucked. Oh no, Howie Schraub died. Stump the Schraub. You guys don't remember that show on the ESPN? You don't remember Stump the Schwab? He was just some fucking fat dude that knew a lot about sports, and they do a game show, and they do, like, sports trivia. Dale Earnhardt was on an episode as one of the people asking questions. <coughs> I remember that episode. It's like, oh, could you stump the Schwab? It's like, yeah, it's some fucking nerd who knows a lot about sports. A.K.A. me! <laughs> I know a lot about two sports, that's about it. Auto racing and pro football. We got an Xfinity race starting at one. Sammy Smith ran out under this yellow. So now I know Jesse Love ain't going to make it. Michael Deegan is third. God help us. Honeyman. Deegan, Gase, Poole, Baccarella, and Ellis! God help us. Okay, I changed my mind. For the next two laps, I'm the biggest Haley Deegan fan of all time. Look at this lineup! There's no way Jesse Love can make it. I don't see how Jesse Love's even still running now. Haley Deegan's second car outside line. I just want to remind you of that. I want Haley Deegan or Brennan Poole to win because Brennan Poole deserves it. He got his Talladega win stolen. And Deegan winning was God. 
<laughs> this could be the most hilarious finish in Xfinity Series history. If we even get that far. I said there'll be three overtimes and Austin Hill will still win. So, and Weatherman is slow off of two. They're going to have to wave the restart off. They're going to have to wave the restart off. 91 stopped. Yep. We're not going green yet. Now, some of these slow cars like Honeyman and Deegan are still close on fuel. They're better than Jesse Love, and they've been slower, so they should have better mileage. But now we're going to get one to go this time. Uh, 42 out. No, no, no. He's good. He's good. <coughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Enjoy the shit show. Enjoy this Austin Hill win that's still going to happen anyway. <laughs> Remember when I was all like, yeah, Pitt with that like 45, 46 to go. You'll be good. I was right. They were good for one overtime. Most everybody was good for one overtime. Would have definitely been good to make the scheduled distance. Should have known. They're trying to tell Deegan how to push somebody on a restart. <coughs> but the two's probably just going to run out of gas the moment they say, green, 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 and he gasses that shit up. <laughs> Suarez just said what I said. Do they not know that the two's going to need fuel to fire off here? Haley Deegan went alert. Haley Deegan went alert. It's possible. It's possible. Call a friend. Let them know. This is real life. This is actually happening. 91 made it to the pits. Track is clear for the moment. Until somebody runs out here under this yellow. <laughs> Haley Deegan victory incoming. Don't change lanes for the start finish line. I know most of these guys aren't used to being up front. It was like one of them NASCAR heat lobbies where idiots keep bringing out the caution and it just ends up being a shit show. <sighs> How is Jesse Love still running? Green, green, green. Stay in line, stay in line. He didn't get much of a push from Deegan. Oh, 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 43's wrecking. Did he save it? If he didn't hit anybody, he'll leave it green. Jesse Love way out front. You know he's way faster than this guy. I guess that car that spun, the Ellis didn't hit anything. NASCAR's trying to be fair here. Ooh. Jesse Love blocking Haley Deegan. No, it's not. 43's fine. Get out of the way. Get off the fucking track. Get off the track! What is he doing? Where's Austin Hill? Austin Hill's on the bottom. God, Jesse Love's got a big lead. Come on, somebody push Deegan! <laughs> Don't push Honeyman. Jesse Love's fucked. Jesse loves fucked. He got such a huge lead there because his car is just that much faster than these shit boxes. We made it to the white. Nobody wanted to push Haley Deegan. Ooh, she's blocking Riley Herbs. If Jesse Love has enough gas, he's going to win it. I don't know how he's going to make it. I don't know how he's going to make it. Don't. Don't. More blocks from... Somebody check the fuel cell on that two car. Uh, Brennan Poole looking for redemption. Brennan Poole, redemption. Brennan Poole, outside for the lead. Brennan Poole. Brennan Poole. 
What is this finish? Ah, Jesse Love's still going to win because this car is just that much faster. Jesse Love made it and won the race. His car was just so much faster than those shit boxes, they couldn't do nothing with him. And s how did he make it? Well, at least Austin Hill didn't win. And Jesse Love won his first race. <coughs> Herbst was flying like a bat out of hell through those ship box cars there at the end. Joey Gase got turned into the grass and ripped the splitter out at the finish line. <laughs> I don't know how two made it. There were cars that pitted later than him that didn't make it. <sighs> and yeah, Sieg beat Almendinger for the dash for cash by uh, two spots. What a comeback. Thought Brennan Poole was going to get his back there at the end. And Jesse Love's doing a burnout. You saw the difference in engine on those last two laps when he was holding off those shitbox cars. Now he's doing a burnout without the steering wheel. All the boomers are already on Twitter saying, them boys just didn't want to see Hale and Deegan win. They didn't help her. They just didn't want to see her win. Durr. They just didn't want to. See Haley Deegan win. <coughs> Anthony Alfredo should have pushed Brennan Poole and he gave himself a better chance. See Deegan win. I'm already seeing that on my damn social media. He had enough to do a burnout for God's sake. There was a dash for cash next week. It'll be Leland Honeyman, Haley Deegan, Joey Gase, and Brennan Poole, right? <laughs> now, I'll be Love, Herbst, Alfredo. <laughs> Towards 
Just look up Haley Deegan's name on Twitter and see everybody, well, nobody was helping her. I wouldn't want to help a slow car either. I was begging for somebody to help her, but, I mean, foolish of me to think it was even going to be possible. Good God, what a race. Still not sure what to make of all this. I'm fucking out of here. I might hit the guys up later about GTA. I don't know. I'm going to see if my grandpa wants to watch a little more Walking Dead. Getting to the end of Season 2. See you tomorrow for the race. Possibly on time.